Okay, um, I make this video, I will not uh, talk very long, uh, for my, my current uh, subscribers. As of now, we are uh, <coughs> the 24th of August 2022, and I have officially uh, 301 subscribers. I know that most of them uh, come from uh, 2000. Uh, 19 when I started this channel, so I don't know how many active uh, followers I have probably uh, uh, 50 uh, whatever and um, I've made uh, More than 360 videos over the past six months and in 2019 Between June and December. I don't know how many videos I made probably a few dozens and I know that at least uh, 40 uh, almost 40 have been preserved, but I don't know because I, I deleted them. I don't know if I had made uh, more than I don't know, but I all you know, I, I probably produced I, I know that I produced more than 400 videos over the past uh, three years, maybe more, even more, but they had been deleted and whatever. So, 400 videos, 301 subscribers from a quantitative standpoint that has been uh, a failure I can say and uh, the ideas that I try to <coughs> share are uh, philosophical uh, but philosophy and religion uh, express the same content in a different form and um, I will not uh, tell the story of why I made this channel in 2019, etc., etc., but what I tried to do in 2019 was to talk to the people that I thought could understand what I had to say uh, because they had gone through the same intellectual process, what people call the red pill. Namely, it's a, a process of cognitive develop, development of uh, becoming aware of the determinations of beings, first political, but then um, economic, sociological, anthropological, um, geopolitical, cultural, artistic, religious, spiritual, and eventually philosophical. So I tried to communicate uh, more or less directly with the, the tiny few people, uh, half a dozen people, uh, Apollonian Germ, Caroline, Stella, I tried in 2019, because these are the people who are the most like me in the sense that they have gone through a process of cognitive development. They have adopted several intellectual identities or spiritual identities, and they had spiritual experiences, not Apollonian Germ, but Stella, Caroline, uh, Hyperborean, uh, Forgotten Roots, etc., etc. But they do not understand why it happened. And I, I thought, and I, I still think that I do understand why it happened. And I know that we are spiritually connected. So, what I tried to do over the past six months, basically, it's not, it hasn't been on a, my, my conscious mind. Uh, uh, every waking hour. I mean, uh, producing content has been on my working mind uh, almost uh, every waking hour, but I try, I try to communicate with Apollonian drum, basically. But that's, that's what I didn't think about consciously. But basically, uh, my, my, my entire purpose was to try to, to reach Apollonian drum or uh, because uh, ideally I would have I would have liked to talk with uh, or to talk at least I would have liked Stella to to watch my videos but she's no longer on YouTube I don't know empirically I don't know uh, where she is what she does I guess that she's still uh, she's still uh, alive and well uh, probably on the US but whatever I will talk about Stella later and um,
I, um, I have gone through a tremendous intellectual development over the past six months. I have thought about God uh, every day. I've, I've read Hegel every day uh, except the past few weeks where I ceased to read Hegel uh, because I have uh, I've incorporated enough of the writings of Hegel to understand that uh, I have to let go of the writings of Hegel. I still use them uh, with parsimony really for a specific uh, quotes, for really important quotes, but once I have done this, I will uh, let go of uh, the books. And um, I have failed to understand myself. And uh, I have gone through several uh, stages of development, uh, progress, uh, maybe reg regression sometimes, and, and progress again. And uh, one of the firm beliefs that I had was that my intellectual content was not rigorous enough, that it was not serious enough, and that people uh, would not uh, watch my video because, uh, uh, be because it's not uh, convincing enough intellectually. This idea comes from uh, the fact that I spend uh, more than two and a half years of my life uh, reading Hegel every day, so the standards of Hegel intellectually, well, I, I unconsciously and consciously even try to imitate the standards and uh, it has learned me a lot, it has taught me a lot, but I have now understood that it was a, it was a mistake, but because I understand Hegel, this is a mistake, this is a negative that brings forth a positive because uh, whatever, whatever, but I will cease to read Hegel, I will I will cease to try to just comment Hegel, but I I bet, I have bet, to bet everything, all my time, all, all my, my waking available time, uh, my, my energy, my work, because I have worked over the past six uh, months. This is probably uh, the work of the negative as uh, the writings of Hegel call this. So, all my work, energy, focus, uh, intelligence, I, I've bet everything on the intellectual aspect. I'm not saying that uh, all my videos or even most of my videos are good intellectually, some of them. I just talk randomly and it's not very, uh, not very serious, but those in which I invested really a lot of time and who are the product of a structured, uh, organized presentation uh, I've, I've invested a lot and they haven't had uh, any kind of quantitative success. And I must be honest, there have been moments when I felt a despair for the reason that I... Um, I failed to communicate and uh, that's why uh, I spend uh, uh, not a lot but uh, an amount of time reading at my statistics because sometimes just uh, it, it seems really silly and maybe it is but just one or two likes on videos in, I, I don't want to uh, if people watch this oh I will put a like uh, because, no no please don't <laughs> no what I mean is that sometimes when I published a video in which I had put really a lot of effort just receiving uh, no comments but just one like or two it gave me really confidence i must be honest uh, i've had a really moments when i really i genuinely thought but will people ever watch uh, my good videos at least those in which i invest a lot and i i finally realized that because uh, i will not re repeat this story but because of my empiric empirical history the fact that basically since 2009 so for the past uh, 13 years with the exception of the past few months and a few moments in 2019 and uh, 2021, I, I almost had no conversation with no one except really a few select uh, people uh, 
for my my personal uh, relationships but I, I i i have not been used to talking to people and over the past few months because i've grown more independent in a way i've had the opportunity to briefly talk to empirical people and it has taught me enormously one might say that's probably very hegelian namely uh, the greatest uh, speculative um, thoughts uh, have to be connected with ordinary reality and i have learned over the past couple of months uh, basically that what i'm trying to express actually is way way too complex because i tried unconsciously and then even consciously to imitate hegel and here i will just briefly talk in uh, 20 seconds but in the writings of Hegel, Hegel criticizes, or the writings of Hegel criticize at various moments, uh, Newton, Plato, partly Aristotle, Kant, uh, Leibniz, Spinoza, Fichte, Schelling for a lack of intellectual rigor. So the greatest minds, some of the greatest minds ever, they are constantly being criticized by Hegel for their lack of rigor, systematicity, etc. And I know how I probably deceived myself. If I read this every day, I, I, I became uh, deceived in a way. So I have lived in the writings of Hegel for two and a half years, which consists in saying that basically uh, Plato, Aristotle, Leibniz, uh, Kant, uh, Fichte, Schelling, etc. It's not really serious enough intellectually. And then when I come back down to the empirical world, I have realized because of my empirical conversations over the past few months that the ordinary person, even if they are a middle class, uh, highly educated, etc., they don't even know uh, who uh, Leibniz, Kant, Schelling are, even the Germans. And I don't blame them. It's not. A, I, I do not accuse them. I just. I just realized that they they were not even aware. It's especially talking with Germans. I've had the opportunity to talk with a, a few uh, German people. That made me realize that my my uh, metaphysical subtleties, Bestimmtheit, Gegenständlichkeit, uh, object, uh, uh, difference, Unterschied, etc. For the ordinary native-speaking German, it's completely beyond. Uh, it's completely uh, irrelevant for them because it, even if they are intelligent, educated, it, it's simply too subtle, too complex. So I realized this because of empirical conversations. And um, what I am saying now is that I understood this at the, at the end of July when I published my video, uh, I will be me. But I've understood that I have to, to lower down uh, the, the, the complexity um, and I got deceived also by probably by myself by, by the degree the, the, the diploma uh, in a sense that I've held a firm belief which has become important in most of my decisions that People who, who had a degree, a diploma, a high diplomatist, they, they were really smart and in a way they are, but and, and that I was intellectually worthless because I had none. And I know that most people think like this. And that's one of the reasons why uh, I haven't had a lot of success because uh, I have no official uh, title, etc. So I just realized uh, that I overestimated the very intelligent modern people phds etc i'm not saying that they are not intelligent they are but i i overestimated them in the sense that they are specialists they are limited to one topic of inquiry and and most of them have no knowledge of even formal of philosophy because they think it's worthless and they, they are very good uh, in their own field but they they, they lack the, the global view and uh, very basic uh, intellectual errors I made very basic intellectuals or whatever so I've just realized uh, a few weeks ago that's what I've been doing that I would have to stop trying to 
to reach uh, perfection in the realm of expression, uh, systematicity, etc. I would have to, to just speak normally, but I have shared my documents inspired from Hegel, basically, so the, the formal presentation with my own commentary. These are the, the, the past few videos and they are the result. In a way, they are not really work because I simply copied uh, uh, the structure of Hegel, but uh, the commentary and the interpretation and the, the structure, this is my, my own uh, interpretation. And honestly, uh, most of my videos, the recent one, they are the best that I could produce on an intellectual level, given the limitations that I had and still have at the moment when they were published. So intellectually, this is the best that I could do uh, given the circumstances. Yeah. And now I have taken the decision uh, already a few, a couple of weeks ago to, to start sharing my personal documents, which of course are influenced by the writings of Hegel, but I will share my personal documents. I published, I, I, uh, upload, I uh, uploaded a video on the 8th of August that I have not yet published consciously because I know that I possess the, 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 the power to change reality by sharing certain ideas, philosophical, which means religious ideas. And I have taken the conscious decision most of the decisions that I've taken empirically uh, have uh, said backfired. So I, I now I'm I'm in a stable mood because I've spent the past uh, three hours working and. Uh, so I'm stable, but yesterday I was really uh, in one of my uh, <clears throat> uh, very difficult uh, mood shifts, and and I thought I know I can express this calmly, but I thought that most of the the things that I've done on an empirical level have been failures. That's how I think that uh, most of the decisions that I have taken have ended up failing. The plans that I have elaborated with a conscious intention of doing good have failed, uh, so I was uh, really uh, depressed, but whatever. So I've just taken the decision to start sharing in the coming days my own documents. And I realized, I will not uh, talk too much about this, but I realized simply that I, I, I made a mistake in a sense that I try to focus entirely on what I consider to be the most intelligent people on this planet, namely Apollonian germ, uh, Stella, Caroline, etc., etc., uh, Hyperboreans, because of the reason I explained earlier, namely their intellectual path. So I, I focused all my in energy, time, uh, focus, intelligence on trying to convince a select minority of people that I thought would be able to understand my truth, but actually I've realized recently that I should just try to talk to everyone and because the tiny intellectual elite uh, intell being inter intelligent can cause um, suffering, I know that, but the intellectual elite, if I reach a lot of people, they will be within, that's a logical determination, the, the tiny few will be among the many. So I will I have to invert my strategy. Uh, so I will uh, I will simply talk uh, in, in my coming uh, in my coming videos. I will talk uh, to everyone basically. Uh, but I still have the belief that as of now or in, in if, if some people can, can watch my videos and understand my videos and understand what I say, as of now, they are only a select minority because they have gone through the same intellectual process. 
but um, yeah so <clears throat> there is one video that I will still work on to, to make it as rigorous although it's already a, a mixture so but there is at least one video that I will not publish before it is at least structured uh, because I think this is the decision that I've taken it's a, vi a video about economics libertarian and communist economics and the belief that I have is that I have to produce at least this one video which mixes seriousness as much as I can provide uh, with my limited knowledge of economics and appeal because I have understood how to make my video successful so I will not publish this video will hopefully will make my channel successful before I have invested what I consider to be the proper balance between intellectual rigor and um, accessibility and then what as of now I consciously plan to do is to, to publish my documents with my commentaries these will be long videos uh, more than two hours with the worldview that I have accumulated over the past uh, mostly six years but actually the, 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 the result of a lifetime of trying to understand the world and I know that these videos when they are watched if they are understood they will change the structure of, uh, of reality and um, Yeah, so I will lower down my own expectations because I've understood that it's not a lack of, of rigor and, and complexity, but an excess maybe. So I will simplify, but as long as I can speak more or less calmly, I will not give up completely on intellectual rigor because this is what I've been uh, trained uh, unconsciously to do. Namely, I, I will not maybe at some moment I will I don't know if really uh, I'm if really I lose it completely but as long as I can be relatively stable I will try to share intelligence and, and, and rigor with lowered standards to illustrate uh, I will go from Hegel to Fichte Fichte is more accessible than Hegel I will stop to try to to rigorously comment every sentence I will speak normally with what I have accumulated as, as knowledge, I will accept to take uh, risks in the sense of speaking normally, making mistakes, making errors, not planning. For instance, this video I have not planned. But there is this one video about economics that I will work on at least for many hours, maybe a couple of days again, uh, depending on the circumstances. But I will not publish this video at least until I think it is decent in terms of the balance between rigor, appeal, and then this is my my uh, my, my bet. I, I, I will not give up completely on on intellectual uh, requirement because I have invested uh, if this is a mistake then uh, I don't know what to say, but I have invested so much in trying to be to be faithful to the writings of Hegel. Like I said in a previous video, I'm just a religious person whose holy book uh, is uh, or are the writings of Hegel, basically. I have to give up on a, a lot of things, maybe on everything, but as long as I control uh, more or less myself. I will not give up on the best of Hegel, I might say, the, the best. Of, it's dubious, but uh, on the writings of Hegel, uh, not, I will stop commenting the writings of Hegel, but 
I will use my own notes, my own knowledge that I have in my mind, my own illustration, my own way of talking, my own metaphors as long as I can, uh, my own uh, view of music, etc. And um, uh, yes, yeah, so for my viewers, uh, I don't know what you think of me, what I am, what you think of what I've said. Uh, if you don't understand, if you are uh, interested or not, I don't. And honestly, uh, I don't need to know because I said uh, many months ago to myself. Uh, I have a negative relationship with my viewers, first because I have no viewers. Those who watch my video, uh, I have. Uh, there are no comments. I don't expect you to write comments uh, just to prove me wrong. But that's what I thought. I have no viewers. Then I have a dozen of viewers, or twenty, or thirty, or forty in some of my videos, but no comments. And when I will get viewers eventually, because eventually uh, I will have to succeed, just because of uh, uh, intensity extension. Uh, I will have a negative relationship with uh, some of my viewers for other reasons. So my uh, my life as a YouTube uh, content uh, creator has been a life of negativity. But uh, I would like to thank uh, you. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know why you follow my channel. Maybe I guess there are people who think that uh, I'm just uh, interested in Hegel, which I am, but my view of Hegel is... Uh, Kind of special those who think that I'm some sort of a, a white nationalist because I talk about white people and that I make videos to a Polonian germ I have been and it's part of my mental understanding but uh, I am not uh, that uh, that that's why it's so difficult to uh, maybe to understand my videos because uh, politically I struggle to to understand myself I know if I had to define I would say uh, balance of left and right, uh, basically. Uh, I try to be uh, in the middle, but uh, it's uh, difficult. But I, I don't know why people uh, follow uh, my channel if they think that uh, I'm a Hegelian or I'm because I talk about Zizek sometimes or because I talk about whites or because uh, or because uh, I talk about whatever. But I struggle to understand myself. So I, I don't expect others, I mean, unconsciously I did, but actually I realized that I shouldn't have because if I cannot understand myself, how could others understand me if I cannot make what I think is true intelligible to myself? And at this moment, I still cannot explain many determinations of what I call my truth. Uh, but uh, the documents that I will publish will help uh, understand. And... Uh, I would like to thank my, my current viewers, uh, whatever, uh, whoever they may be, for uh, the person who uh, three years ago uh, saved my um, some of my videos. Uh, I have suffered from this because when I detached myself from uh, higher consciousness in 2020 and 21, I, I was ashamed of my videos. I felt this as a burden. And I, I, I was uh, scared and afraid that they had been uh, preserved. And I, I was st starting to learn to live with my past. And this is what has led me to church, to, f to seek a redemption for the contents that I had published. Because at the, at the beginning of 2022, I still believed that what happened uh, in 2019 was some sort of a delirium. So I tried to, to accept my past, which has led me to church, which has led me to recover my former uh, IDs, basically. So I have suffered from the fact that these videos have been preserved, but I would like to thank whoever preserved them nonetheless, uh, because you helped uh, spread uh, aspects or moments of the development of, of my truth, which may be the truth. So uh, the person who preserved them um, helped me in a way, although I, I suffered from from this, but I, I no longer do. I suffer from many other problems, but this uh, is no longer. Uh, so I would like to thank this person that maybe I will never hear about, but uh, yeah. And also the relationship with my, my current viewers. I have to thank my current viewers for uh, having helped me discover um, 
uh, Antonio Wolf is a channel uh, about uh, Hegel. I've, I haven't had the opportunity to watch many of his videos, but the ones I watched uh, were pretty convincing. Um, Terence McKenna, I discovered McKenna very briefly. Like I said, I, I haven't spent a lot of time. I spent uh, maybe uh, 10 minutes, uh, but I didn't know McKenna, so thank you. And maybe the most important discovery has been Keith Woods. And I realized that I had already watched a few videos of Keith Woods uh, many years ago, but I, I hadn't... Uh, I hadn't um, realized or I hadn't spent a lot of time or focus or whatever, but now I've, I've had the opportunity to watch a few of his videos over the past uh, few months since uh, one of my followers uh, advised me uh, to check uh, Keith Woods. And Keith Woods is very intelligent. Uh, he's not as intelligent as uh, the people who have gone through the the path of paganism in a way, but he's really smart, uh, subtle, whatever I say, he's really, really smart, subtle, uh, balanced, nuanced. Uh, so uh, I would like to thank the person who enabled me to discover key foods and hopefully uh, uh, maybe uh, key foods will watch my videos and find, uh, I don't know, but whatever. So yeah. That's what I had to say probably in 30 minutes. So uh, I will publish my own documents in the coming days, as long as I can. And, and I, I think I will publish one video, which will be a uh, culturally Hegelian as maybe it was supposed to be, namely uh, music, uh, uh, um, pop culture, uh, religion uh, with uh, Evola and also Philip K. Dick and, and, and Hegel. And then if I can keep publishing videos, I will keep publishing videos, but I will improvise. Uh, and uh, yeah. Um, I don't know how to conclude this video, but um, it's been four years since I had my, my God experience of August 2018 and uh, well. We'll see, but uh, I, I will do what I think is good, but uh, I will not, uh, I will not say whatever. I, I have tried to do good, good, uh, what I thought consciously would be good, but uh, it, it either it failed or it backfired, or I will try to, to do my best to do what I think and know is good, but uh, there, are, there are moments when I, I am really, uh, negative in the sense of uh, de depressed uh, and which makes me uh, negative for myself and maybe for others so I had th th these outbursts of yesterday and the day before but now I mean I don't know I'm in a stable mood but this is what I wanted to say in 35 minutes so I will publish The, the, my my own productions with my own commentaries and uh, these will be I think important videos uh, and uh, re reality will change uh, at some moment in the coming days or I don't know weeks reality will ch will change probably in the coming days because I, I will speak religious a religious truth the, the the truth about spirit and god i, I already have uh, partly but here i will be uh, it will be more uh, fully conscious and what happens then i try to 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 stabilize but uh, 
whatever. It's so complex, whatever. That's what I had to say in 35 minutes. So, uh, thank you uh, for the writers, the the writers, the, the subscribers. Uh, you have helped me a lot. I cannot say that uh, I, I will help you. Uh, I cannot promise because maybe I won't. But uh, you have been part of my. Uh, my my intellectual development and process and uh, there have been uh, interactions with some of you that i don't know at all uh, empirically or whatever that have i have considered really useful and and have had a really positive uh, impact upon me so whatever good uh, comes um all of my videos uh, i owe you uh, partly uh, this so thank you and uh, Maybe we'll talk uh, to each other somewhere, somewhere. Maybe we won't. Um, that's what I had to say. So, yeah, I will start publishing videos, which hopefully will will become successful. And uh, yeah.